Hello, it is Tuesday. Um, I'm starting this vlog mid-afternoon because I've been working from home this morning. In fact, I've had a pretty productive Tuesday. It's been one of my most productive days in a while because as I've mentioned, I've not been too well, um, but I'm starting to feel like on the mend now. So I thought I'd give you a quick skin update before I get ready. I'm going to an event this evening, so I want to glam up just a little bit and like cover some of the skin issues I've got going on. I've not actually been to an event since I think last year because I don't really go to that many anymore. I'm very selective. So um, yeah, it should be nice to get out. And also Onyi and Rosie are going, so that's always good when your pals are going. And um, so we're gonna hang out before it as well, gonna go around to Onyi's, but um, yeah, skin update. So just to show you uh, what's going on here, I'm gonna have to come in close. I know this camera is on its way out, by the way, which is kind of frustrating. So if I do go in and out of focus, I do apologize. Also, I know it's not like the sharpest quality ever anymore, but just to show you, we've got like this going on here and obviously like the patches of redness. Now, I may look slightly tanned and that's because I've been using my Saint Tropez self purity tanning water spritz and this is purely because I feel like it's helped to kind of even out some of the redness a little bit plus I find this to be super hydrating so whilst my skin has been dry it's really helped with that um currently I have the May Lindstrom Blue Lagoon on my face which I've mentioned loads of times it's this stuff it's just absolutely beautiful it is luxury in a jar and this is the kind of stuff that my skin has needed right now um, it's just super moisturizing and it's just what my skin needs because it has been a little bit of a nightmare, not gonna lie. So if you didn't see my previous vlog, obviously I've had this skin infection that's gone now, thankfully, but I am still like in the remnants of it. So it's literally like this all over my body still. I don't know if you can see it very well. I swear this light bleaches it out. Yeah, if I shadow it, you can see it. So it's like that all over my body, which is a bit of a nightmare, but I really can't complain because now the itching has gone, I just feel like, oh, finally. Um, so that's not taking over my life anymore. I'm kind of cured of that. It's just that the actual like scarring from it needs to go down. So yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm very thankful that that little period, we're coming out of it now, but obviously now it's like skin recovery mode. And as I've mentioned, it did affect some of my face. I think I got a little bit prematurely excited. I think it was on Thursday or Friday evening. Um, I thought that my skin had more or less healed. It was looked deceptive. It was kind of looking even, but it still had that texture, which I've shown in previous vlogs where it's still quite bumpy. And I thought maybe it's time that I can reintroduce some of my products which contain acids because as I've mentioned, I've stripped everything back to basics. I've literally been using this every day, even in a night. This is the Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturiser, which is really, really nice. I am working with Liz Earl, by the way, but that's over on Instagram. This isn't paid, but this is just legit what I've been using. It's a really nice moisture rich moisturiser um, and just literally took out all of like my AHAs, BHAs, anything with acids in or anything that could irritate my skin. However, like I say, I got a little bit excited on, I think it was Thursday or Friday evening, and I thought, oh, maybe it's ready to kind of have a little bit of a, a skin treatment. So I did what would be like my usual routine, which I've not been able to do for a good while now because of these like ongoing skin issues. And I never, ever used to get reactions from um, this product. I used the Pixie Beauty Peel and Polish, which if you've watched me for a long time, you'll know has been like one of my favorite products for years. But I think my skin was still broken and irritated. I just couldn't see it. And I had it on, I did a little patch test. It felt absolutely fine. I did like a patch test here. So then I thought, okay, I'll slather it over, over my face. And I usually leave this on for about 20 minutes. You can use it as a mask in that way. And it felt fine the whole time. I was chilling. I was actually excited. I thought, oh, it's time that I can like get that glow back and start feeling like, you know, just getting back to my normal skin routine. And it was only when I kind of went to splash it with the water that I felt my skin seriously start to burn. It was like really, really sore and painful. And I knew straight away, as soon as I washed it off, it was like my skin had reacted. It was it was kind of like I'd given myself a chemical burn from it, which is just, well, it's not good, is it? And after I'd tried for so long to be so good with it, I was so frustrated. So um, I'll insert some pictures. 
but it's kind of gone down again now because over the weekend again i was really good with it it got super dry on sunday to the fact to the point where it was literally like my skin was peeling off my face like a snake um and i just had to pack hydration obviously i don't want to like peel that skin or mess with it too much um and then last night which was monday night i literally went to bed in a cocoon of moisture um so i used this i also used the may lindstrom youth dew and i decided to spritz some of this on because i knew that the next day i'd wake up and even though it can make me a little bit orangey when i go overboard like now i'd prefer that look than when it looked so obviously like red and sore before and it's feeling a lot better like it's not peeling now so I'm going to show you up close it's definitely still got you know there's definitely a lot of pigmentation going on here and you can see where the skin really needs to heal here so i'm being super careful with this bit i've still got a little bit of the rash on my neck because obviously like i said the rash continues all over my body but it's not as bad on my neck as it is everywhere else so um yeah and this side of my face isn't as bad but you can see this is slightly more textured i honestly do feel though like this camera or most cameras they just kind of like blur it out a little bit and it seems to look more obvious in real life but yeah i just wanted to give you an update there and hopefully kind of share it with you as we go along um because if you watch for a while you know that i don't tend to suffer from any skin issues so i thought it was kind of important to share this little journey as we go on it um and i'll give you updates as i go so that's that and i do actually have a facial booked in tomorrow which i had to postpone because this has been booked in weeks ago and obviously at the time i didn't know i had a skin infection so i had to change it um and now it's gone i've got it booked in and i changed it for tomorrow so hopefully my skin reacts okay it's i've never had this treatment before it's microdermabrasion obviously they'll give me like a little skin assessment before i go so i hope it will be all okay um we will see i'm hoping that it can help with some of the issues something i really want to do this year is look after my skin on a next level like you know i love doing it at home and taking care of it but i think going for treatments if you can afford it can be you know really worthwhile um so that's something that i really want to do more of um just spend a little time a little bit extra tlc on my skin um not like i don't already so yeah i'm gonna get ready now anyway enough waffle and i will catch up with you when i'm done <laughs> hello what a difference makeup can make i feel reborn and refreshed i feel hydrated and glowy and all the goodness things that you can be and feel um yeah i have just i just spent time doing my makeup i've not kind of done full-on makeup for a while because like i say whilst my skin has been quite problematic i've been doing the bare minimum when i have been using anything on my skin i've not been going for a full coverage i've literally been using like a tinted moisturizer but today i've got actual foundation on and i feel good for it i've got on the bare minerals um foundation stick which you see me use loads of times i really like this one because it stays hydrated on the skin which obviously with this little problem patch which you actually can't see now with uh, the makeup which is great with this problem patch it's so dry that anything matte it's just i mean you've not even seen it on the skin peels but it's literally like ugh, a bit gross so hopefully this should stay throughout the evening as we go into the eve it's already 10 past three but i have had a productive day which is good i literally just finished the edit of my second vlog i've edited two today which is good and now we've moved on to the third which is this one so i'm getting ahead of myself because obviously i kind of took a break from youtube and filming and stuff which wasn't planned but um you know life things get in the way as i mentioned previously and now i'm feeling like i'm getting back into the swings swing of things because i have missed vlogging and when i'm in the motion of it i do enjoy it so here we are um now i am hoping to make some quite late lunch because obviously 3 p 3 p.m is late for lunch but i was just in such a workflow that i couldn't stop then i decided to take a pause to do my makeup and i also filmed that for an igtv video so i've also filmed that as well which has been um a good Good little multitasking thing to do and now i'm gonna eat something but it's pancake day and i've gone on instagram and everyone's eating pancakes and i'm not even that bothered about pancakes but now i want pancakes um and we don't have like ingredients to make actual english pancakes which is like the flour 
eggs, water. Um, but I did do a quick Google and there is like a vegan pancake recipe that has without eggs because we don't have eggs in. And I'm thinking, do I try it? But also can I be bothered with the faff because the plan is for Rosie and I to head to Onyes for around four and I'm gonna eat my lunch. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna have time for pancakes, am I? Hmm, interesting. We will see. I think I'm just gonna eat food, um, eat some lunch, a late lunch. And then, like I said, we're out for dinner this evening. Um, so yeah, should be good. But I just wanted to update you and show you my face whilst it's fresh. I mean, hopefully it stays this way. Oh, and the highlight, by the way, is the Beauty Blender Shine Lighter. And I am loving this because it is just, it's like lip gloss for your cheeks, but doesn't feel as sticky as lip gloss. And it just gives you that hydrated, glowy look, which I like if you're wondering what that is. So this is my outfit of the day. I've literally just thrown the rest of it on, but I really like it. So I kind of had an inkling that I'd go for these brown trousers, which you know I love, because I thought it would go quite well with the knit. And um, I like this, it's super long sleeved as well. This is from Andover Stories last year, I think it was. And then the boots, which are also Andover Stories. So I'm kind of representing with this combination, but the top and the pants are old. Only the boots are kind of newish this year. And obviously this blazer, oh, I think Rosie's here now. I can just see Tom <laughs> dropping her off. Um, and the blazer, I, you know, that's like my standard blazer that I've had for ages. Um, so I kind of like this combination. It's warm enough, it's comfortable, and I feel smart and put together as well. For my bag, I've got my Ted Baker backpack, and I think I'm either gonna throw on my Mara Hoffman wrap coat or my brown coat. Okay, I need to go and say hi to Rosie because she's here now. <laughs> and here it is with the coat very quickly. Um, so yeah, ready to go. Okay. She arrived at Onyes and she's actually- Hello. Prepared us. Hello. She's the Rosie's same thing we here had as well. last time. <laughs> and she's prepared us a little, little um, what would you call it? Bread and cheese and oh, grapes again. And some tea, it. which is very mm -hmm. cute. So we're gonna have a catch up and some food. Is that it? We're doing a boomerang. We're doing a boomerang. So we're ready. Video boom. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Right, we're off to the event. Where are we going? King Street Town. Right? I don't know. Where well, any, like, uh, anytime there's no, someone else in my vlog, it's like I expect them to talk and I get really lazy and I just go at this. Where are we going? What are we doing? <laughs> um, we're off for dinner at King Street Townhouse. Yes, we are. Hopefully we'll, it's nice. A yeah. meal with Elemis. So yes. we're looking forward to learning a bit more about some Skincare. Yes, so it should be good. So let's go. Good morning. Before I take my hair down and fluff my fro, I thought I would check in with you and tell you about today's agenda. So first things first, I've got a facial. I think I mentioned this. Um, I've been given a complimentary treatment on Treatwell. So I decided to go for a facial. Um, it's something that I said I wanted to do more this year, but time runs away with you. And so this is actually my first facial of the year. Um, so I'm excited for that, especially because of the skin situation. It's actually gone down a lot today. Um, it's not looking as bad. A lot of the texture's gone down. This is my main problem area. Um, and this side is looking a lot better. I feel like I'm starting to get that like glow back a little bit because my skin is starting to feel less dry, which is good. And obviously I've been packing it full of hydration and moisturizing products as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go along, see what this facial is all about. So it should be a nice little indulgent morning. Then I'm heading to McCrory Hair to get my hair trimmed. Very excited because it's just got those straggly bits and it always feels refreshed when Vicky gets her hands on it. Um, and then I've got a couple of errands. I've got something to pick up from the tailors and I've also got something that I need to send at the post office. So yeah, it's like a day of self and errands really. So I'll vlog what I can, knowing me, the next clip will probably be back here again, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna like fluff my fro and then get ready. My outfit for today is really not exciting. You've seen it before. In fact, I think I wore this exact outfit last week, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, so the outfit combo is kind of the same but different. I'm wearing the knit that I wore last week. I think it was last week or a few days ago um, with the black skirt and the tights and the boots. I'm literally a cartoon character at the moment. You know, this is the way I live. And then the coat, which needs no introduction because I'm living in it at the moment. Um, and then my cream bag. Again, just a thrown on outfit, not really thinking about it because it's just a day of errands. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, that's it. Let's go. Good afternoon. I am back. Um, 
as you may be able to see my skin is not in a very good state right now um i had a bad reaction to the microdermabrasion i think i think my skin is going through something like more than i realized because for me to like react like this is like bad like it's next level i think for anyone to react like this is bad um i don't know if i mentioned in this vlog but i think i did actually on friday i had a breakout after using some sort of like facial acid and i did actually think that this microdermabrasion will be fine because it's not using any sort of chemicals or anything it's just um a, a machine so to speak and then i had like a facial after it um and yeah i just think it's not reacted well to my skin and it's i don't think it's any fault of the place because i did tell them about my skin concerns and she used a lowest setting and she was really really lovely i just think my skin at the moment is super sensitive so literally no fault of the place i just think it's me <laughs> um so yeah i am a bit gutted I'm not gonna lie just to give you a close-up but again i'm sort of getting through it with the knowledge that i know that it's not like it's I'll, I'll be able to sort it out sort of thing and if anything it's making me feel grateful that i don't usually have any like skin troubles or anything because i know it must be really hard for people that have it all the time um any skin issues like ongoing so yeah um and then i went and had my hair done and my hair i, I decided to do another wash and go today because I wanted to go with it washed to the hairdressers. Does anyone do that? I know it's like so stupid because you go into the hairdressers to get it done. But yeah, I always do that. And I ended up putting too many products in. And I had my hair dry cut anyway, so it was just in a weird shape. But she cut it, she did a great job. But it's just that it didn't look great because it's the products I had in it. And she was like, do you want me to wash it? And I was like, no, I just wanted to go home. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I mean, I'm happy with my haircut. My hair feels really good at the moment, actually, because those ends have just been trimmed. But there's not a huge difference there. But I just am feeling a bit, oh, and I've got like this low energy thing again. I feel very, I don't want it to be like a moany vlog because I feel very like, Ugh. um But yeah, I don't know. I, pr I probably am not quite up to scratch i feel like do you know you've got like the onset of like a cold or something it's like that sort of feeling very like lethargic feeling but when i'm feeling like this um i kind of know what i need to do for myself obviously i'm not feeling great about my face like mentally um and i'm also feeling a bit tired physically so i'm just gonna lay off myself i'm gonna make myself a nice green smoothie because that always makes me feel good and I'm going to read this book that Kat lent to me, which the other day I literally, I only read this much. I read like a chapter and it made me have such a productive day yesterday after just reading that tiny book. So I'm already preaching to people about this book and I've not even read it yet, which is hilarious. But it is called um, Essentialism and it's by a guy called Greg McCohen. So yeah, that's what I'm reading. So I'm going to just have a chilled like hour or so. Just give myself a little positivity uplift yeah i'll update you on the skin hopefully by tomorrow it will have gone down a bit um yeah it's just a bit of a nightmare isn't it but it's there's worse things that can happen um this side isn't as bad but even here actually around here gave me issues i don't really know what's going on i don't know i don't know good morning i have woken up on the right side of the bed this morning um obviously i didn't vlog anymore yesterday i was feeling a little bit like weird run down um and obviously i wasn't feeling great because of my skin as well but yeah i just had like a pretty chilled afternoon and then i read some of my book i'm actually reading three books on the go at the moment i read some of one of them um and then i decided to make myself a nice dinner because if i feel a bit like if i feel not great i know like it's good to like feed my body with all the things that i really enjoy to eat and that make me feel good but usually it's the food that takes like a little bit of time to prep so i absolutely love like broccoli roasted so i like it where it's like borderline raw because it's so crunchy but roasted with loads of flavor so i roasted some broccoli some peppers i made some um, hummus i love making homemade hummus um what else did i have in my bowl of goodness i had avocado which i love 
um yeah just loads of like good stuff in a bowl oh yeah sweet potato love sweet potato um it was just so good and like hearty and mm, and it just made me feel good and i got on the sofa and i watched what's the show called um love at first sight because damien was working away um last night and i thought I'll watch something that we wouldn't necessarily watch together because we watch so many like films together and I always struggle when he's away or if I'm away he struggles to find something to watch that the other one isn't going to be jealous of because if we watch a series like we would not then carry it on without the other person if that makes sense we very much like it's a together activity when we watch things so I was like let me just choose something that's absolute trash that Damien will not be interested in and I saw that pop up and my hairdresser had recommended it yesterday so I thought you know what I'll give it a go started watching it and I was like midway through I was like this is brilliant and I um messaged Damien and I was like I'm watching this show it's super trashy but I feel like we'd laugh at it together and um we'd enjoy it together so he was like well maybe you should like just ask stop after the first episode and then I'll catch up and we'll watch the rest together so I had to like refrain from binge watching especially because the first episode sort of hang ended on a cliffhanger but I thought I best wait because there's nine episodes in total and then I can watch the rest together with Damien so he can really watch the first one. I think it's nice when you can chat to someone about what's going on, but it was really entertaining. Very different. And I don't think I've ever really watched any sort of American reality TV, um, but it really entertained me. So I'm excited to finish that. That was my evening. I uh, had a pretty chilled one. And then I got into bed and I started reading my favourite book while rereading because I've not read it for about five years and it is A Little Life which is the most beautiful book. I'll talk about it more but I'm rereading that. It's like such a long book as well but I feel like I've neglected fiction a little bit and I want to like get back into my fiction books and I know that's good and sometimes you just got to reread your favourite. So um, that's what's going on with me. Books, life, TV. Um, this morning like I said woke up feeling a bit more positive and just like it's a new day it's really nice outside blue sky i feel like blue sky makes all the difference i did wake up to see there was snow outside which i was just like what is going on <laughs> but other than that there's blue sky i think the snow is starting to melt yeah um, the snow isn't great but the blue sky is great so yeah i made sure i like infused my skin with as much moisture as possible yesterday um, I mean, I use SPF every day anyway, even if I am working from home because it can get through the window, uh, the sun. So um, yeah, I put SPF on again today and it's especially important if you've had any sort of treatment or even if you're just using doing at home stuff like any sort of exfoliations, acids and stuff like that, SPF is so important. And I actually, the woman actually gave me a SPF after my thing and this is a brand called skin base the facial so I think they're like in clinic ones but it's vegan cruelty free and it's um a moisturizing cream with SPF 30 and it's really nice actually uh very lightweight and I'm always like I'm a you know what I mean I'm, I'm a sucker for like a good SPF um because I go through them like there's no tomorrow so that's a nice little top up and I've been wearing that put it on again today and the real reason I popped on right now whilst I'm waffling, waffling on about 10 other things was to talk about my hair so obviously I had my hair cut yesterday and I wanted to rewash it because yesterday I added in too many products so I just got a little bit crazy but the products I use <laughs> don't have to hand right now uh, I use um, I've been using that As Hask hair oil so what I'll do is after like conditioning and stuff and I've washed that out I will apl apl apply <laughs> apply oil throughout my hair oh I also used a little bit of the Charlotte Men's hair oil today as well I'll link all these down below and I sort of comb it through just so it's everywhere and I'll go through with a tangle te teaser brush it through and then detangle with my fingers and then I'll apply my leave-in conditioner today I use a Giovanni leave-in conditioner it's like a super lightweight one I've mentioned it before um and comb that all through I, I mix and match my leave-ins but that's what I use today and then I mentioned this the other day which I'm enjoying and it's the Evo Whip It Good Moisture Mousse and yeah really like this and this is what gives me the lift and I'm excited to do my hair today because obviously yesterday I had my trim it's already feeling a lot healthier so to get it out if you watch my stories you've already seen me do this but I thought I'd just show you in case you don't use Instagram what I've this is kind of the technique I've been doing I don't have loads of product on, on today but I've just it's kind of like a, 
<laughs> look at the shape i kind of get it into like a sort of middle part but not perfectly and then so obviously i've already got my other products in my hair my hair is sort of semi-damp shake up my mousse and i start with a bit like this and i just kind of splodge it on top at first and then i comb through so I find like, I would only do this whilst my hair's still quite damp to wet. I wouldn't want to do this when it's starting to get too dry because it wouldn't kind of absorb into the hair as well. But yeah, I just kind of do this all over. And then another splotch. And I'd like to go around these front bits. And then bit underneath as well and same on the other side <laughs> and i've been doing about two to three pumps of this and i make sure i've got like a decent amount around the top because that's the bit that i most want to lift although as you can see look how long my sort of i'll show you this side because you can actually see look how long my top bits have got now so it really is growing which is great isn't it weird sometimes it's like you need a haircut to see how much it's grown maybe that's just me <laughs> So that, for me, is just about the right amount. Sorry, it's hard to see because of this back background. Um, but yeah. So now, I get my Dyson, um, and I set this on like the lowest. I put it on like number two intensity and number one heat. Um, so it's like low setting, basically. And I dry my hair. <laughs> Also, <laughs> the reason I do it upside down is to kind of create volume on top. So I'll dry like the main bulk of the top bit upside down like that and really press in so that um, it gets as much shrinkage and bounce on top, especially because those top bits, as you've seen, have grown quite long now. So I find this helps to add some of that lift whilst it's still growing out, if that makes sense. This is how it looks initially, which is hilarious. But at this point, I do some blowing out at the roots. So as you can see, we've got the lift. I like to use, no. I like to use the thinnest no nozzle. And then I just grab sections, because you can see there's quite a lot of stretch here. This is like some major shrinkage. So um, I just kind of blow out from the roots and I just do this around this part, because this part I want to keep quite tight and um, keep it voluminous, shall we say. And now it is Afro comb time. I mean, I could probably actually carry on and get it bigger, but I'm going to stop for now. Um, but yeah, that is my hair refreshed, how I do it. Um, it is lifted, got some volume on top, which I'm loving. Um, and I'm very happy with it. It feels really good. And I'll show you the back as well. And that's it. <laughs>